I am God, and I am here to find the one who dares to impersonate me. Ah! Yup, it's only me, your village idiot, the one you hate to love and love to hate. And if you're wondering what's on my head, so am I. First things first, we have to rent our god. All right. Boop, 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 beep. Boop, boop, G-O-D. Ring, ring. Hello, this is Rent-A-God Hotline. Hi, I'd like to rent a god for the evening. I'm sorry, but we're all booked. All right, how about next week? Sorry, we're all booked. <laughs> how about next year? I think I can give you a year and a day. How much would renting a god cost, anyway? Oh, 12 grand is our nominal fee. A day? For an hour. <laughs> an hour? Uh, yeah. <laughs> well, can he just, you know, stop by, shake a few hands, sign a few autographs, then, you know, drive off with his posse? I'm sorry, sir, but that's against our policy. I'm not a sir. Okay, sir, but will you be walking that god? No. I'm just going to do a quick review of the wonderful history of the role of the village idiot in the game Mafia, for those who might have forgotten. It all started at Sophia's 14th birthday. 14th. I was being rent a god. Amelia was being an idiot. So as I was tapping people, and Amelia was being an idiot, I said, all right, if you get tapped four times, you're the village idiot. Visual aid to show you what tapped four times meant. Me. Amelia. And so, the village idiot legacy continued on, as, you know, we all act like idiots sometimes. But, you shouldn't fall for any of my pranks, they're, they're pretty idiotic. And if you do, you get to be the village George W. Bush. I was looking back through some of the stuff I wrote in 6th grade, and I was so... I need a better word than stupid, I really do. But, um, back then, the 7th Harry Potter book hadn't come out yet, so I decided to write the 7th Harry Potter book, being so sure that I could write it better than J.K. Rowling. So, I'm just going to read you the first page written in my excellent script. Harry Potter. Aren't you afraid the Ministry will come calling? I doubt you have a perfectly clean slate, Heather queried. Heather was some made-up character. Who knows, Avenir shrugged. Avenir was, a uh, me, if I were a witch, what I would like to be exactly like. They didn't show up the last two times, but I'll give them the benefit of the doubt. Avenir looked to her leather pouch, and it unzipped itself. A red envelope floated up, following Avenir's eye directions. This should help you with your occupation. I thought I was so articulate and eloquent with my big words. And I'll, it'll be useful to the order. I haven't been accepted in, but I didn't apply for... I meant initiation, but I spelled it A-N-I-T-I-O-N. -I -I Anition. Yet, anyway, she looked longingly into the deep red of the envelope. They'd say I was too young anyway, probably. So bad word choice. Okay, I'll show it to them. And I won't give your name if you don't want to, spelt with an A again, initiate yourself. Heather raised a brow as she said it. And I'll leave you with that. Village Idiot, signing out.